Hi everybody, thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to look at how to find lots of lovely maths resources on a, a Windows computer, whether it's your laptop or your standalone PC. Now, if you go into the Maths Toolbox on the website, and we'll go into level 3 to 5 first, if you scroll down you can see all the different topics okay, that you get on level 3 to 5. Now for this demonstration we will go into fractions, which is number 8. And again, you can see all the different subtopics. Okay, lots of different things you can do with fractions. We will go into equivalent fractions. And if you scroll down again, you'll see all the different types of resource. So you've got textbooks, you've got PowerPoints, your worksheets, you've got hands on activities. I suggest just ignoring the ones that say URL and going to my maths instead. Now, your videos will always appear at the top. So if you click on the video and then click on play, hopefully within a few seconds the video will come up. Okay, now at this point you would actually hear the lady talking on the video. Uh, there's your bar at the bottom. You can pause it, rewind it, fast forward. And she will explain to you what's going on. Then pause. Fast forward. You can actually full screen it if you click on this little icon. To get rid of full screen, click on the same icon again, pause. Now you go backwards and we'll go back into equivalent fractions. Scroll down, let's find something else. Now let's go for a PowerPoint. Now you don't actually need PowerPoint on your machine to do this, this should load inside the web browser. You can scroll down and see the various slides and diagrams to show you equivalent fractions. Let's go back again. Pick something else. And we'll pick a hands on activity. Now, this one you would probably want to download and print out, okay? And the idea would be that you would match the equivalent fractions with equivalent decimals with an equivalent diagram, okay? Let's go back again. Now, you can see a little download button at the top actually download each of the things onto your machine. So if we try a worksheet, again you can scroll down. Scroll back up. Nice and easy. These tools at the bottom allow you to zoom in. Okay, zoom out. Click on that button that says download. It does actually give you up to direct download straight to your computer so you're no longer streaming it, okay? And it just downloaded down to the bottom of my screen there, and then you can store it on your actual machine. Okay, now we're gonna go back out of fractions. We're gonna take a look at something else. So if you scroll down, try powers and square roots, very common topic that comes up. This time you've got four videos. Again, lots of different resources. This time I'm looking at a textbook. Now I know this particular resource is out of the textbooks that I've used. I know I've used them with my class, and I'm sure lots of other people have used this one. Square numbers. Again, you can zoom in, scroll down, you can just grab a piece of paper and write the answer down on a piece of paper. So we will try going in this time to level seven to eight, got a similar sort of thing. I look at one of these progress files. Now this actually tells you how to make progress from level seven to eight. So the things, so we're a number, things inside the circle are level seven, things outside the circle are level eight. This time it's algebra, similar sort of thing. Shape and measurement, and data, not as many things in that one. So if you close that screen down, again you go back to the Christchurch Academy home page. So I'm looking at level 6 to 7. I'm going to show you how to get a SATS paper up. So you find your SATS papers, click on the written tests, scroll down there from various years. This is the 2009 paper one. There you can see the front cover. 
some of you may have seen this paper before and you can scroll down and basically test yourself and get used to some of the questions of the, what the questions look like on SAS papers I'm sure you agree that should be very very useful in terms of revising for your exam now that basically wraps up the video so hope you found it really useful We'll see you again.